Yo, 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 what is up, people? It's your boy Zane back at the end with another banger video today, man. So, today we got another jet guide actually. Because quite a while ago, I made a jet guide on Fracture and it actually got a ton of good feedback. And I realized that most jets have no idea what they're doing on Pearl. So, I figured why not make a guide so you guys don't have these inting jets on your team anymore? In this guide, I'm going to be covering how to defend, how to attack, properly entry, good off angles to hold with jet nice old spots you can do and just in general nice plays nice peaks how you can really perform your absolute best when playing this agent there is also just going to be a really nice spots in general that i like for any agent not just for jet but it's mostly going to be jet specific to jump straight into it some skill jumps you can do with jet on this map are just these two where you can jump on on top of this angle and on top of uh, this angle right here sadly it's impossible to make it over to this box without an updraft one on a site you can do with like any agent honestly is this one but with jet it's just much easier because you can glide the amount of times i've seen people miss this jump up with any other agent like without glide isn't great is like is impressive so just try to use your glide here it makes it much easier and you just get onto it every single time and this is like a nice off angle you can hold and then get out afterwards and drop into a secret i like to hold this angle a lot of the times especially with an op because if you're holding this and they peek you and you just dash out to the side and you're just dropped down here and then you can start holding this off angle over here. And as they cross out of the smoke, as they walk out of the smoke and they cross the site, they can only see you if they really walk like all the way to this edge. And by the time you make it to here, you're probably going to be worried about art or flower. And you're not going to be staring right at this guy that's over here. So this basically allows you to get a frag, back off and reposition in a really good position right away and just get a second frag off the bat now let's start looking at defending a site when defending a site especially because we're a jet player it's really important that we utilize our dash the best way to utilize our dash on defense is by trying to get aggressive so when i'm playing jet literally on pistol round already i'm walking up here and i'm holding this angle and the second someone peeks me i take two or three shots and i get out it's important that we don't get greedy and we go for too many bullets because then we'll just end up getting one tapped right we shoot one or two bullets try to get the kill and if we don't then we get out and even if we get the kill we just dash out and play the numbers after dashing out of main i like to fall back to backside over here and then i just kind of play these off angles it's because we're jet we can smoke off one of the ends and just play the other end and we can hold an off angle like this get the kill here we can smoke this end and then hold this side we can try to peek and just get a frag like that and now let's say we got a kill in main earlier and dashed out since we killed two people right here our dash reset we can try to get aggressive again kill one and dash out to the side the key to mastering jet on defense is utilizing her smokes to isolate the angles the enemies can push you from and being aware of the dash reset in order to get a really aggressive and dash out because most people won't expect you to get that aggressive when they're pushing on site they expect you to sit back site but once you have your dash available that is when you can just wide swing and try and look for a kill when you're defending a and you have to fall back to secret you could also throw your smoke right at the top of this lamp right here and just kind of hold this you'll be able to see their feet a little bit as they come out and what they see in the meantime is literally nothing and then they walk out by here you already see their feet but they can't see anything yet it kind of gives you the upper edge on the fight it's not a complete one way but all the way from here to here they can't see anything and you can already see them so it really gives you a big advantage in the duel when it comes to holding art it is really important that we utilize our smokes to create one ways to give us an upper edge the second we hear them push mid and hear them running at us we look a little bit like below like in the middle of this and throw our smoke this actually creates a perfect one way for us when they try to peek us they can't see us but we can see their toes so we kind of aim at the middle of this of this part and not the bottom part at middle at, at the middle of this and we throw our smoke and then as soon as we see their toes we just spray at them this also covers us from people that are trying to play up here as well which is kind of insane a lot of the times people will try to go up here and swing you from here but this is actually smoked off so they can't trade they'll have to swing out like wide to, to trade with jet on defense you could also look to get aggressive with a dash right you can also try to activate your dash look for pick here and then dash out and then you can just kind of chill here and throw your one ways and just kind of wide you know you kind of wait and the second they push into you you just kill them it's kind of the same principle on double doors here as well we can try to look, look for a pick and get aggressive early and then the second we notice that we're getting rushed by like five people we just throw our smokes right here in the middle and we have a perfect one way that people pushing in can't see you they, they have no idea where you are meanwhile you can see their feet perfectly fine and if we're getting overwhelmed there's nothing wrong with smoking this off holding the one way and after we get a pick we can just fall back a little bit we can even smoke this off and we can just run all the way back to site without having to worry about about short same thing if we have to retreat over here we can just kind of run in here and then we can throw our smokes right at the top of this arch and just create one ways for ourselves again when the enemy tries to push they can't see anything but we can actually see them really really well you kind of aim at this general area next to the lamp and you throw your smoke and that, that way the enemies can't see anything you can hold your crosshair head level and 
as they come in, you can just mow them down. Now talking defense on B. Most of the time, I ask my smoker to smoke this right away, to just smoke this cross. What I like to do is I, I get aggressive early, I try and go for a kill, and then when I dash out, this is smoked off so I can't get traded right away. If our smoker is not calming at all or not listening to us or we just can't communicate with him to put a smoke here, then I recommend not getting really aggressive early because you're just way too out in the open and there's no way for you to like to get back into safety with just one dash. So you'll most likely just get traded out. A good spot I like to play is up here with an operator. If you have an op, you can kind of sit up here and hold this angle. And the second you get a pick, you just dash right out to safety. I mean, we can also risk it, peek back here and then hold this on or hold this end or we can repeat this and just dash out whenever we need to. We only want to use our dash when we have to. We don't really just want to be wasting it. So if we get a pick here and we know this that we're not really pressured at all, we can look for a second one. We can kind of hold this, hold this, and then repeat this get a second one and then we go out and then it's a 5v3 you just kind of want to reevaluate the situation is it worth taking the risk to peek this again or am i just risking dying for no reason something else that's really nice about the spot is the second we dash out we can kind of updraft over here for example and play in heaven or we could also dash out and then play back sight. Go either play it from here and hold this off angle. Or we can go over here. I recommend not swinging out because you're pretty much like you have a death wish at that point. Because there's going to be like people everywhere just holding this. Everyone is always staring here. I recommend holding an off angle like this. And then when people try to cross over, that's when you kill them. And that's when you can fall back. If you're getting pressured, you can always smoke this off and cross into here. Or throw two smokes and just updraft into here and, and retreat that way. When I don't have an op, I prefer playing on side a little bit more. And I prefer holding angles like these that let me work with my dash so i can pretty much get a kill dash and then i can actually dash to safety if you're playing out here in the open if you're getting swarmed by five people you kill one here like you're still not fully safe you can still get traded but if you're in here you're pretty much covered from literally every single angle another thing you can do if the enemies have like a wall or something you can ask for a flash if someone flashes through the wall you updraft onto this box you try to get one or two kills and you just fall back behind the viper wall other than that playing back sight is just always a really 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 good spot as well you can always play up here early and just hold this try and look for a pick but i wouldn't like play too wide because that makes you like kind of have to waste your dash in order to get it out because if the enemies peek us here and we're not dashing we have to run a like a big ass distance and we're just gonna die in the meantime especially if we get hit into the body once valorant basically fucking stun locks you the second you get hit by one bullet so there's no way we're gonna be crossing back if we're gonna hold it that wide i recommend we hold the angle tight and then we fall back and then the second we got rushed we have this line here we throw our smoke and that is another one way uh, we can even aim it a little bit higher like in between this and this kind of here and smoke right there which will also create a perfect one way the enemies that walk in will have will not be able to see anything meanwhile we can see them perfectly fine we, we can just lock this down we have two smokes we wait for this one to go away we smoke it again and we can just chill here for like literally we, how long is this like 16 seconds of stall which is insane. Having back side control is really huge for retakes, meaning that if we can hold this down for like 18 seconds with both of our smokes, that's gonna let our teammates rotate over and we can just kind of lock down back side for our team. On eco rounds, it's also really nice to just sit back here with a shotgun and just kind of wait. We can we can smoke this off and lurk in our smoke, or we can just literally hold it and try to kill people that are coming in. I recommend not pushing up to pillar because you're pretty much sending a death warrant unless you're chamber. If you're chamber, then you can TP out, but as jet, we can't really get a kill and dash out. Like this is like we're still not behind cover after our dash so we're just gonna get killed i recommend only pushing up here if you're a chamber because that actually just lets you tp up to safety after peeking with any other agent you can't do that playing this angle back here is also not horrible as long as you have someone to break the fade eye or the sova arrow or sova drone for you the second people know you're here you're just gonna get sprayed by five people through this wall the amount of times i've seen like literally five people shooting through this wall is insane if they don't clear you you can activate your dash before they peek you get one or two kills smoke this off and you can dash to safety and you just run back to you know you kind of think about how have the enemies been playing are they going to clear me are they not going to clear me if the enemies are absolutely horrible at the game and you've just like you get away with everything then playing at an angle like this i wouldn't recommend tucking in because you're just going to get one shot to the, through the wall i recommend holding it a little bit wider in an off angle but the second someone walks up you hear them walking up you activate your dash one two you go back to cover dash smoke it off and you dash to safety and now getting to the juicy juicy part with the jet attacking on pearl let's start off with a site if my team is planning to go a first thing i do is i always make sure that no one gets aggressive early we walk up here and you have to be really careful of people because they could already be pushed up to here you have to be really careful of people pushing up close and then you're just ready for those people after clearing those angles i like to walk up and clear this and clear this angle and now the second we cleared all of this the next play we can make is activate our dash we clear these angles as well and now notice as we look to the right we also look over to the left right afterwards to see people in art like over here far back and now what this lets us do is it lets us come to our teammates yo no one close no, no one close right and if we don't see anyone here 
and we're in the smoke after our dash that lets us run out of the smoke and we can flank the art player right now right away especially if you're doing an a split this guy's gonna be occupied with fighting the people that are pushing mid and you all he see all he hears is whoosh, he hears the smoke and he hears the jet dash and people are calling that it's a but he's occupied with mid so he wouldn't know he doesn't see anything all of a sudden boom this guy's dead from behind and then your team can flood in through art and after getting this kill you can just back off and then your smoke is still going to be here and then you can re-swing and then you can even smoke this off and then you can clear back side this is like a really nice way to get a kill on the art player really quickly and flank him from behind another play you can make is throw your smoke to the right side dash in and clear close left close right and smoke off in front of you and run through and then fall fall back into secret and now you've kind of made it into an unexpected position really quickly without the enemies really knowing where you went all they see is these two smokes but they don't actually know where you are they saw you dash in and now they won't be expecting you to be tucked in here already they might be expecting you backside or be to push spawn but you're kind of just back here holding and then you can get a nice peek on the guy backside as well especially if your team is coming in with you which let's be real they probably never are coming in with you in this elo what's really nice about the fact that your team is coming in with you is you can kind of clear these guys for your team smoke it off and then you can cross into here while your team is floating out so everyone especially this backside player is going to hear your dash be scared of your smoke see the second one but then there's going to be people running at him so he can't just run back here and start clearing you what this guy needs to do is he needs to hold sight so he's going to be worried about these angles and then you're going to just swing him like five seconds delayed you're going to swing him from here and kill him if you're attacking from art i recommend just walking up here without really you don't really need anything while walking up here i recommend just clearing these common angles being careful about this close right guy and then right around here i would like to activate my dash because if someone is here i have the dash to get out and if no one is here then i can get aggressive with my dash i can walk up and i still have my dash available so now with my dash i can throw it front sight and i can clear these angles for my team i can smoke up right here i can cross into my smoke and go back to flower again you can also just dash front sight like this smoke off uh, secret and then swing this guy back sight especially if you're coming out with like three to four people they're all running down and you dash out like this this guy is going to be occupied with the people that are going to be running out of art and you're just going to be swinging him from the smoke right here you're going to be swinging him from here and while, meanwhile he has to be occupied with these people if he starts holding you then he's just going to die from the from the guys in art it's kind of a win-win situation he either looks at you and dies to your team or he doesn't look at you and that's your free kill when attacking double door it's important to be careful of people opping all the way back here or people sitting close with a shotgun i recommend just kind of using these wall bank spots right here you can kind of shoot right at the head of the chicken which will like hit people that are trying to play close here people that are like holding close here will just die you aim right at the head of the chicken and you will usually just hit perfect headshots on somebody sitting close right here another one you can do is just shooting like right here all the way at the end of the door which will kind of hit the people that are playing further back and playing like around here just anyone that's kind of playing close to the door will get hit by the wall bang and will you know get really low from that who knows if the enemies are on an eek around and they might have a shorty this might even net you a free kill after you've put a few bullets in these wall bangs I usually like to just peek this, peek these guys with crosshair placement and be wary that there could be a guy back here or here or close here, right? And then I usually just walk up here with my team. And then once I go down these stairs, I like to activate my dash right around here. Because if someone is here, you still have the time to dash out. But if no one is here, then you can just kind of walk down with your team. And you guys can go into B from here. And then you can either smoke this off and dash updraft into heaven. And then you can get a really, really fast flank into the guys holding from spawn. Or you could also just walk up a bit more, smoke middle of sight, dash out and clear your angles and then cross into backstage side post play on b it can also be really cool to hold an angle up here or over here if these angles are smoked off this can be a really nice off angle into the guys from b link because if they when they push site like this they're probably not going to be aiming up here they're going to be aiming down here they're going to be scared of the people close they're probably going to be shifting around here and then you're just up there aiming right at them and you just get a free kill when attacking b if i'm not sure the enemies have an operator i like to smoke off the cross right here and get over here that way we can kind of we can kind of clear the op more safely without having to risk dying especially if i I have an op myself i love just smoking this off and crossing scoping in and then picking up and getting a pick on the upper i've gotten so many kills on like chambers with their ulti or just chambers opping by just kind of going back here and then peeking this like that and then peeking them from this side because all they see all they see from over here is a jet smoke right there and then all of a sudden you're peeking them from this angle you're not peeking them from here you're peeking them from this angle after i've cleared this area i like just walking up here and making sure that no one's tucked left and then no one's behind pillar and then when we go outside in front of us i like to activate my dash smoke off right here and clear left and uh, clear close right 
and clear close left while you dash in. So we pretty much, we flick right, flick left, and then we comp to our teammates. Clear, clear, you know, left clear, right clear. That way we can get info without risking anything, and then we just kind of cross into backside from here. We can throw a second smoke if we're worried about a guy playing B link, and then we just kind of cross into backside. And then I just kind of like playing over here. Why I recommend doing it with a one smoke only is so we can hold our second smoke to create a one way over here in post plant. Because just holding backside dry like this will usually get us killed because the enemies are going to have a flashes, they're going to have stuns, they're gonna have everything coming at you and if we can just throw this one way right here and then they can't really do anything we're gonna be able to see their legs they're not gonna be able to see us so we're pretty much just getting ourselves some free kills and utilizing jet smokes to create one ways is insanely valuable i recommend pretty much always going into back halls the only time you really want to be going up here is because if is if you're going for like a play like this where you updraft into heaven and then you can just push spawn really quickly again but other than that i recommend just literally dashing into backside because you have way too many angles to clear if you're gonna dash if you're gonna dash in your smoke and you walk out like this this angle this angle this angle this angle like you're open to so many different angles and you can't really isolate it's a 1v1 like that so unless you got to pick on a guy really early and you kind of just want to you know go for like something stylish and go into heaven and just kind of cross and get a nice kill into a guy rotating then i recommend just dashing back halls also a lot of people don't know this box is wall bangable i see a lot of people just not shooting this box when your bullets go through perfectly fine head level is usually around like right at the like at the bottom of this side of the book so you kind of just shoot here and this is actually perfect head level for the people that are playing back here. So if someone is hiding here, or if the enemy's planted here, or if you planted here and the, someone is defusing, you just kind of shoot right here in this general area, and you usually get a headshot. Now let's talk about old spots. The most common one that most of you probably know is the one where you run up here and then you jump and then you double updraft and you get perfect view into B long and to people walking up. I've actually gotten a few kills here in my ranked games and it is just really really nice what is really important about this one is that you jump before your updraft so you kind of walk off this edge you jump updraft updraft and then you get up really high and you kind of can get a few kills on these guys pushing long the next one in b link is the one where you get onto this box and then you can jump double updraft and then you get angles under people down in mid especially if you hear your art guy fighting people top mid you can just updraft here and then you can Try and fight these people with him. The most common ones are probably the ones over here where you can updraft into these holes and you can try and look for a pick like this. But a lot of the times people will expect this one when they hear your updraft and you're just going to go one tap through the window. The one that I like a lot is the one where you walk off this ledge and you jump and you double updraft and you get like a really nice angle onto the entire site. And you're going to you're gonna be all the way up here and the enemies are usually going to be playing post land. They're either going to be sat in these corners and then holding art like this. And if you're just going to swing them from over here, like they have to land a huge flick on you in order to kill you. Another one would be this one where you updraft and kill them through the window and you're pretty much safe the second you drop down. You can also just kill them by jumping. You can see their heads when they come out main and look for a kill like that for attacking a really useful one that you can do is get on this ledge jump and double updraft and you get a huge view on all the people on site and most people won't expect you to be looking over the roof like this you can kind of just you have a huge angle on the people playing link and you can just look for a kill like that really early on if you know there's a guy playing into in this tunnel or just in this area in general you can also double updraft from over here and you get an angle on the guy there this one is really situational and i don't recommend doing this every round you have ulti but if you know there's a guy there this is better than just dry peeking him you can kill him from above from this spot you could even clear uppers that are playing back here by double updrafting and looking through this crack right here if you've done that one before and they know it you could also do it from here where you jump onto this ledge and then you double updraft from here you can also get an angle on the people back there. Anyway, that's pretty much it for me. If you've been struggling with Jet on Pearl and you thought this video was helpful and now you're feeling confident to hop into the map and smurf on some people, make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you've been binge watching the guides, dude, just subscribe to the channel, man. It is free and honestly, it only takes you like five seconds and it would help me out a shit ton. If you don't sub, go fuck yourself. And other than that, make sure to do your homework.